Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Top 5 Niches of the Week, episode 88, and I've got another good episode. It feels like, as far as niches go, we're returning to some state of normalcy. There was a period where it felt like after Christmas, uh, it was a struggle to come up with five good recommendations each week, but last week was great. This week is going to be really good as well, especially niche number five, so make sure you stay for that one. Let's get started. First, let me announce the two winners of the weekly print-on-demand giveaway. If that looks like your email address, you'll be hearing from me shortly with your prizes. Congratulations. And of course, we've got a new giveaway starting today. You can use the link at the top of the description to enter for free. Also down there in the description, I've got an eight-day print-on-demand mini course you can take advantage of for free. And I've got a great print-on-demand Facebook group. If you'd like to join, I'd love to have you. All right, let's get to these niches. Niche number one, and this is the niche that if you're in tier 10 and you're thinking, I don't know what to do, what should I upload? This would be my personal recommendation, at least as of recording this, things can move quickly. You know, There could be a brand new niche that pops up overnight uh, that would be better than this, but based on my research, you're gonna wanna be in the 100 days of school niche. If you are in tier 10, I think you just need to follow the trends, follow where the most customers are, and based on my research, this seems like it is pretty much a guarantee this is where the most customers are. Um, well, actually, I mean, there was one shirt that was absolutely crushing it ahead of this one, and I'm going to recommend that niche a little bit later. But the 100 Days of School niche, uh, I mentioned it briefly last week, and since last week's episode, it has basically taken off, and it's now selling better than the uh, the Tuesday niche, <clears throat> the, the 222 Tuesday niche. Uh, so this says, uh, well, here's what I wanted to show. There's a lot of ways to attack this niche. And I didn't try to illustrate all of them in this video, but there really is. I mean, the 100 days of school, guys, uh, there's like the football angle. You know what I mean? If you can sell football shirts, sell a soccer shirt, sell basketball, sell all the other volleyball, all the other great sports that everybody plays. Um, the first one says hip, hip, hooray. So it's kind of a, oh, and they, they put a kindergarten spin on it. Uh, the third shirt over here is more of just a generic for all the, the kids. Make sure you enable the youth size, obviously. Also, just point out, too, the generic one in the number three spot has the lowest BSR. Actually, no, the one behind me does. Uh, 27,000 BSR versus 30,000 BSR, which basically is, is relatively the same. But it looks like the more generic ones have higher upside. So, for instance, if you're going to run ads, you'd want to make it more generic, and I would expect. Or be very specific with your targeting. If you're going to do, like, 100 days of school kindergarten... Make sure it includes the word kindergarten in your ads, you know, so you don't have to bid against the people that are doing the generic shirts. Uh, I just wanted to sh show you guys that you can go to Pinterest and I, I Googled 100 days of school just to get some inspiration and whatnot and see what's going on in the niche. And Pinterest was the top link. So why don't you go to Pinterest? And if you need inspiration for cross niches and sub niches, check out what's going on on Pinterest. What's cool is they lay out all these images. I mean, Pinterest boards to me really are kind of like doing a Google image search. But anyways, you can just scroll and scroll and scroll and just do the infinite scroll and get as much inspiration as you need. <clears throat> this shirt is one of the best sellers here. And it has, you know, those different pattern rainbows. I don't know what it is about. Like the, some of those specific patterns just sell so well, especially that leopard print. Uh, BSR 11,000. And yeah, you can see here that the primary keywords at the bottom, don't forget to include the word smarter. Okay, because at least in this one, in this, I don't know if you want to call it a sub niche, because I don't think all the 100 days of school shirts have to say the word smarter. But this is, if not the best seller, one of the best sellers, and it has the word smarter in it. So it's 100 days smarter. All right, niche number two. And this is, sorry ladies, sorry girls, my mommy is my Valentine. So we all know Valentine's Day is coming up. There's lots of, I wouldn't just do generic Valentine's Day shirts, obviously, so find a nice way of attacking it, either cross-niching or sub-niching. Uh, this one, I don't know if it's a sub-niche or a cross-niche. It's kind of like, hey, you know, it's not, is it really like someone's going to buy this shirt for themselves? No. Who's going to buy this shirt, guys? A mom is going to buy this for their kid, right? So make sure the youth checkbox is enabled. Make sure, you know, it's something that a mom would like. And, you know, it's obviously subjective, but use your imagination and uh, yeah, that's what this that's what's going on in this niche. So it's a nice way of getting some Valentine's Day sales strategically. Uh, you can see here BSRs, 150,000, 150,000, 125,000. Behind me, 193,000. And I like the one behind me too. They put some suspenders on there. You know, think of like a little kid, you know, the, the, the fake suspenders on the design. That's kind of cute. So, I, you know, anything you can do to think outside the box. And here you can see one of the best sellers. It's got a T-Rex. Of course it does because, you know, Young kids, they love the T-Rex shirts. I don't know what it is, uh, but they sell extremely well year-round. And it has a 31,000 BSR. 
All right, niche number three. And this is another Valentine's Day shirt. We're not going to do, you know, a whole Valentine's Day episode, but this is Pizza is My Valentine. All right, and this is selling well enough that I think it warranted being recommended. All right, BSR's, uh, that first one is 900,000, uh, but the second one, 37,000, third, 200,000, fourth, behind me, 92,000 BSR. And it just says Pizza is My Valentine. I mean, why not attack Valentine's Day from a funny angle? I think when I did a video a couple days ago about selling print on demand jewelry, um, one of the examples I looked at was a funny, you know, funny Valentine's Day, right? Like show some love to the uh, single people or even the people who aren't single, but still want to make Valentine's Day parody shirts instead of just doing the like kind of cheesy, you know, expected Valentine's Day approach. Uh, I also wanted to do something very quickly and point out that when you search pizza is my Valentine in the search merch tool, Amazon's putting a Nickelodeon shirt first that says I'm only here for the pizza. It's just interesting because you know that the algorithm knows that the other shirts actually say pizza is my Valentine's and by the BSRs are buying those shirts more. So why did the Nickelodeon shirt get priority? And no, it wasn't an ad. So that's just something worth thinking about because yeah, like when, if, if those shirts are getting priority over ours, it's going to, you know, have an effect on our sales. And I'm not, I, again, I have no insider information. It's just interesting that this happened because like the algorithm should know that when someone searches for that term, they want to see the shirts that actually say that as opposed to a random big brand shirt that is indexed on the word pizza, right? So just wanted to share that with you guys. Uh, and here from uh, Flying Research, 37,000 BSR, uh, if not the bestseller, one of them in this niche, pizza is my Valentine. I love the design, uh, the heart-shaped pizza, of course, got the arrow going through it great use of contrast and consistency in their color selection. I love the way that shirt looks. Well done. All right, niche number four. And this is actually like the best-selling t-shirt right now. However, the gap between the number one bestseller and like the number two bestseller was pretty wide. You can see the number one bestseller, but well, first the shirt is to-do list your mom and then your mom is crossed out. Now we've seen this amongst the bestsellers for a while now. And the fact that it's selling as well as it is, is making me wonder if people are buying it as like a Valentine's Day shirt. Now, I, I don't own one of these shirts, so I'm not 100% sure. I, I don't really know why it's so popular, but that one listing at the top there, and actually I can guess why it's at the top, because it has a price point of $13.99. And the other two shirts here, I mean, I know my chair's blocking it. I'll, I'll get out of the way for a second, but the other two are $18.99 price point. All right, so the uh, number one bestseller though, $28. 100 BSR that's 2,800 BSR selling incredibly well I also wanted to point out that there is at least one shirt that says to-do list your dad so someone's thinking outside the box there hey if to-do list your mom is selling let's do something similar to-do list your dad sure why not has a 250,000 BSR uh, and again I don't know if it's like Valentine's Day is why people are buying it or if there's something else going on here but when a shirt has a 2,800 BSR and it's crushing every other shirt I think it deserves its way into the top five niches if there are other shirts indexed on those words selling well, which there are. So, but it is very top heavy. <laughs> so here you can see, uh, again, this is the bestseller here. And it looks like uh, from this dip that I'm pointing to behind me, I love it when I get the the uh, the backwards green screen point correct because uh, it's very hard to do. It's like backwards. Uh, January 10th, it saw a dramatic rise in sales from, that was six days ago from roughly 150,000 BSR all the way to 2,800 BSR. So I don't know what changed from six days ago to today, but that is a crazy spike in sales. All right, niche number five. And this is the one I mentioned up front that you're going to want to hang around for because it is a nice way of getting into a really big opportunity niche as far as sales go. And I love that it's kind of cross-niching two things that are popular, all right? And this niche is popping my way through 100 days of school. Now, I don't have kids, but uh, I do know that it is very popular amongst kids, young kids, children, to have these little pop bags or pop plastic pop things, okay? Um, I have seen them on the streets of, so random, right? Because I don't have kids, so I don't, it's like, why would, why would I even know what these are? But when me and Marielle went to Las Vegas last year for a weekend, we like walked past people selling these on the streets and they were charging like 40 bucks for them, 40 bucks for these little pieces of plastic with the poppers. And I was like, how many of these a day do you sell? And I'm not kidding. They said that they sell like 50 plus. I don't remember if they said 50 or 100, but it was some 
absolutely absurd amount for $40 per. Like they were making a killing on the streets of Vegas selling these things. Anyways, I should have been like, all right, then there's potential here, probably potential for a t-shirt. Some people are 10 steps ahead of me though. They already have 100 days of school cross niched with pop in my way. They've got the poppers. They've got the 100 days of school. Perfect cross niche, which also leads me to the next thing. Is there another opportunity to cross niche 100 days of school with something else or pop in my way through something else that kids like? Um, you know, somebody with kids would know better than I would. Uh, anyways, as far as BSRs go, 120,000 BSR, 320,000, 700,000. Of course, I don't go out of my way to like only put the highest sell, the best sellers on these screenshots, by the way. So, I mean, there's some, there's definitely other ones selling better than 700,000. And behind me, 176,000 BSR. <coughs> And here you can see from Flying Research, one of the best sellers, 39,000 BSR. Got the rainbow colors on the design. Love that. Uh, got the popper with the rainbow colors. I have seen them, and a lot of them are like tie-dye and rainbow, so it's uh, true to form. All right, seller trends. If you want to sell products related to um, designs and niches that have significant jumps in recent BSR, uh, we've got some 100 Days of School Achievement Unlocked Gaming. We have a bunch of I Steal Hearts Valentine's Day shirts. Some other Valentine's Day shirts. The one behind me is the shark eating the candy. Uh, and then vintage 1972. I don't know why that's... Oh, okay. Okay. Guys, this is why we look at the seller trends, as Flying Research calls them. Why is 1972 of all years selling so well? <laughs> 50 years. People are turning 50. Okay? That's significant date. That's a significant age. So... It's not random that 1972 is selling so well. I'll bet you if we go back a year, 1971 was selling really well. So this is why we take a second and we kind of look at some of these um, future trends. You know, they call them seller trends. All right, looking ahead, if you want to sell shirts related to random holidays, weird holidays is what I Google when I try to find the calendar. I Google weird holidays 2022. February 17th, random acts of kindness day. February 18th, National Battery Day. February 18th again, National Drink Wine Day. All right, if you're going to do National Drink Wine Day, don't forget, do not check the youth checkbox. All right, February 19th, National Chocolate Mint Day. February 20th, Love Your Pet Day. This is where if, if Pablo was next to me, I would pick him up and show you, but he is, he's is he gone. I don't know where he is right now. He's up to no good probably. All right, bonus shirts. Uh, I just picked one bonus. I just really like this design. A lot of times in the bonus, I just show a design that I really liked. And I'm completely envious of whoever was able to produce this design because, you know, back in the day, I was good at freehand drawing. No joke. I was good at it. I am not good at it anymore because I don't write with my hands. I'd click with a mouse and a keyboard now. So this is one of these things that I haven't done in so long that I could never produce this anymore. I, mean, I don't want to say never, but um, yeah. So whoever, whatever artist made a shirt like this, they're the type of people that don't need to take the volume approach on Merch by Amazon. They, they don't need to go, you know, quantity over quality. They do quality over quantity because... That's their edge. And whatever your edge is as a seller, you know, go full force. But figure out what your edge is first, you know, and be, be realistic. Like, you don't have to be this good at art to, to succeed at creating good designs. But, like, don't tr spend all day making one design only for it not to be great. You know what I mean? That's that's the, the, the real threat. If you're going to put a lot of time into designing, make sure it's good. And, again, it's subjective. I know, I know, I know. But, all right, guys. Deleted designs brought to you by Merch Ninja. What do we see here? Some gnomes. Um, I don't know. We have a George Kittle NFL, not good. Uh, Gardner Minshew, uh, another NFL player, wouldn't infringe on NFL players. Um, behind me, actually, there's two down here at the bottom. Let me hide myself really quickly. So two poppet designs at the bottom. That's interesting, actually, um, that there's multiple poppet designs. So before you do any, oh, there's three. Poppet Daddy of the Birthday Girl. Okay, maybe it's something to do with poppet and birthday. But I would do some research there and just try to make sure. That you're going to be all clear. I always put a link in the description, by the way, to my video called Is This Niche Safe? And you do want to watch that video to see my process for confirming that a niche is safe because, yeah, like you got to keep your account safe, of course. Uh, all right, guys. And as we wrap up the video, there is another giveaway that began today. You can enter at ryanhoag.com forward slash giveaway or use the link at the top of the description to enter to win my print on demand mega pack. It's completely free. It takes like 10 seconds to do. So why not? This week, the winners will receive a license to Flying Research, Print On Demand Research Tools, Automate POD, Print On Demand Design Creation Automation for Canva and Photopea, All American Graphics, Premium Pre-Made Graphics to help you with your designs. Like I say, make your designs good enough. I love using All American Graphics and All Sunsets. And Bubble Scout, my go-to Redbubble niche research and validation tool. 
shout out to the sponsors shout out to uh everybody that enters the giveaway good luck and next week actually this is probably going to be a two-week giveaway because uh, i'm going to be traveling to the dominican republic a <laughs> nice little beach vacation next weekend because it is too cold here we needed to get some sun i forget what the sun looks like it's been so long and it's supposed to snow today so who knows what's going to happen because i need to go to my friend's baby shower right after this uh so yeah interesting day but next weekend we're going to be on the beach relaxing uh and guys before i wrap this video up if you are interested in my full print on demand course walking you through how i make six figure sales every single year you can find out more using the link in the description guys please like subscribe and i will see you at the next video